The oldest joke in psychology is, how many psychologies does it take to change a light bulb? The answer, of course, is only one, but the light bulb needs to really want to change. Do you really, at the visceral level, believe that people can change? If you don't, we have a problem. If you're a coach, you will set limits on your clients. If you're a client, you will probably sabotage yourself. And if you're a sponsor, you will go through the motions and be blind to the evidence. So where do you start? Well, you, no matter what your role is, but at least entertain the possibility of deep and uh, permanent change. Can you think of a single example, public or private? Many of us can um, recognize the example of Nelson Mandela. Um, next, I want you to reflect on the concept of nature versus nurture. Babies aren't meant to walk. They're not born to walk, but they put in a lot of effort and a lot of frustration and a lot of commitment and a lot of setbacks before they can stand and walk. But then at some point, uh, we lose, we switched off the energy and the commitment to develop and grow. Um, and what's interesting is that most of our blockages, particularly in a corporate context, are pure nurture, which means that they can be reprogrammed in the other direction. So if you're a coach, here is a strategy. Uh, one, uh, spend a lot of time uh, testing the desire for change as well as the proposed strategies for change. Unless this is totally clean, the probability for, for deep change is, is quite low. Uh, second, set up some behavioral experiments. Uh, you won't find out if change is real until you actually do it. Uh, and third, don't go for the big goal. Instead, go for some approximation to the eventual goal. In other words, if someone wants to run a marathon, you know, teach them to jog first or, or coach them to jog first. Um, what you want is set people, your client up for success and then build incrementally and eventually you will develop the ultimate goal. Uh, finally, both the coach and the client must consistently collect all the evidence um, and examples of change. There are plenty of psychological barriers that prevent us from seeing change, uh, from selective perception to confirmation bias to cognitive dissonance. These are all words that we've heard before, but they all conspire to make us blind to the evidence. Uh, so show me the evidence is sometimes as important as the progress itself.